In the realm of classic cinema, there exists a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on the collective consciousness of movie Agor's Casablanca. Released in 1942, this iconic film has transcended the boundaries of its era to become a cinematic touchstone, a narrative tapestry woven with intrigue, romance, and political tension against the backdrop of war-torn North Africa. As we delve into the enigmatic world of Casablanca, one might ponder, can you recount a personal tale of how this cinematic masterpiece has left an enduring imprint on your life? Or perhaps, are there lesser known facts or anecdotes about the movie that captivate your curiosity? Feel free to share your reflections in the comments below, as we would love to hear your stories and memories. Now, let's uncover some captivating facets of this cinematic treasure. Did you know that the film's script underwent constant revisions during production, resulting in an unplanned but brilliant narrative outcome? These behind-the-scenes intricacies add layers of fascination to the movie's legacy. And what about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic? Your stories contribute to the rich tapestry of Casablanca's impact on audiences across generations. Share your insights and let the timeless allure of this film continue to resonate. In 1942, Warner Bros. released a notable film directed by Michael Curtis. This cinematic classic, known for its anti-Nazi stance, wasn't the studio's initial foray into such themes. Years earlier, Warner Bros. had already produced an anti-Nazi film, Confessions of a Nazi Spy, in 1939. However, Casablanca marked a pivotal moment as Warner Bros. became the first Hollywood studio to openly oppose the Nazi regime. Their commitment went beyond mere rhetoric. The studio adamantly prevented its films from being distributed in Nazi-occupied territories. The film's overt anti-Nazi sentiment is noteworthy, especially given the context of the time. Warner Bros took a bold stance against the atrocities in Germany, with Harry M. Warner actively denouncing Nazi activities as early as 1936. This principle stand reflected in Casablanca, contributing to its status as more than just a cinematic masterpiece. It became a symbol of resistance during a tumultuous era. Amidst the film's serious undertones, a lighter behind-the-scenes anecdote involving director Michael Curtis adds a touch of humor. Curtis's Hungarian accent led to a memorable incident where he requested a poodle for a scene. The ensuing confusion, as the prop man searched for a poodle only to present a poodle of water, provides a glimpse into the challenges and camaraderie on set. Additionally, the medals worn by Captain Renault, portrayed by Claude Rains, carry historical significance. The arrangement of the Legion of Honor, the World War I Victory Medal, and the commemorative War Medal reflects not only Renault's character, but also serves as a subtle act of courage. Wearing the World War I Victory Medal prominently, especially in front of Germans, underscored the film's defiance against oppressive forces. In summary, Casablanca, beyond its cinematic brilliance, stands as a testament to Warner Bros. Early anti-Nazi stance in Hollywood. The film's enduring legacy lies not only in its narrative, but also in the studio's unwavering commitment to resisting tyranny on and off screen. Here's looking at you, kid. A timeless line from the 1942 film has etched itself into the annals of cinematic history. Voted as the five movie quote by the American Film Institute and one of the 100 greatest movie lines by Premier in 27, its origin lies in an improvised moment by Humphrey Bogart during the Parisian scenes. What makes this line even more intriguing is that Bogart had used it before in Midnight. The magic of this phrase resonates beyond its scripted nature finding a place in the hearts of audiences and contributing to the enduring legacy of the movie. Bogart's spontaneous addition became emblematic, a hallmark of the film's rich dialogue. As the story goes, Max Steiner, post-filming, voiced reservations about using As Time Goes By as the defining song for Rick and Ilsa. Steiner aimed to compose an original piece, entitling him to royalties. However, practicality prevailed when Ingrid Bergman, having trimmed her hair for another film, made reshooting impossible. The collision of artistic intent and logistical challenges showcases the intricacies behind the scenes. Interestingly, in 1973, a Warner Bros. executive sought Franois Truffaut for a remake. Truffaut declined, expressing his preference for other Bogart films like The Big Sleep and To Have and Have Not. Despite this, he acknowledged the film's cult status, particularly among American students who cherished its every line. Truffaut's refusal provides a glimpse into the reverence for Casablanca, even as opinions on its ranking among Bogart's films differ. 
In essence, Here's Looking at You, Kid encapsulates the essence of Casablanca film that transcends its scripted narrative to become a cultural phenomenon. The interplay of improvisation, artistic choices, and the film's lasting impact on audiences makes it a subject worthy of exploration, adding another layer to the allure of this cinematic masterpiece. Sidney Greenstreet, known for his role in the iconic 1942 film, had a unique vision for his character in Casablanca. Originally, he proposed wearing something ethnically Moroccan like a fez to portray assimilation into the local lifestyle. However, producer Hal Beat, Wally's intervened, insisting on Greenstreet donning his now famous white suit, reminiscent of his attire in the Maltese Falcon the previous year. The decision had its roots in maximizing foreign distribution profits. The studio strategized to make all unsavory characters, aside from the Nazis, hail from enemy or Axis countries. In Casablanca, this led to characters like Ugard and Ferrari, along with a shadowy European pickpocket, being portrayed as Italian. This behind-the-scenes insight sheds light on the intricate decisions that shape the film's characters and settings, showcasing the delicate balance between artistic choices and commercial considerations. As Greenstreet's Fez idea was shelved, the distinctive white suit became an enduring symbol of his character in this wartime classic, reflecting the complexities faced by the filmmakers. Sidney Greenstreet's attempt to infuse authenticity into his role, thwarted by studio strategies, underscores the meticulous thought process behind Casablanca's production. The clash of creative intent and commercial imperatives, as seen through the lens of costume choices, adds another layer to the film's legacy a legacy that has transcended time, etching Casablanca as a cinematic masterpiece. In one of Casablanca's pivotal scenes, Rick never utters the famous line, play it again, Sam, contrary to popular belief. Instead, he instructs Sam to play the song with a different set of words. This misconception has fueled spoofs in subsequent films, emphasizing the enduring impact of Casablanca's dialogue. The incorrect phrase has become ingrained in pop culture, spawning references and imitations over the years. As the cameras roll for the first time, director Michael Curtis faced challenges during the shooting of flashback scenes in Paris. Humphrey Bogart admitted his discomfort with romantic themes, while Ingrid Bergman grappled with an unfinished script, uncertain about her character's romantic entanglements. Curtis' directive to Bergman to play it in between reflects the pragmatic approach taken to navigate the uncertainties, showcasing the dynamic process of bringing Casablanca to life. Leonid Kinski's casting as a supporting character in the film is an interesting anecdote. Initially not the first choice, Kinski secured the role due to his friendship with Humphrey Bogart. Replacing Leo Mostovoy, Kinski's presence added a comedic touch to the film. This behind-the-scenes decision sheds light on the interpersonal dynamics that influenced casting choices and contributed to the film's overall atmosphere. These snippets from the production of Casablanca provide intriguing insights into the challenges faced by the cast and crew. The nuances of dialogue creation, the adaptive nature of directing, and the impact of personal relationships on casting choices all played roles in shaping the timeless cinematic masterpiece that continues to resonate with audiences today. As the timeless tale of love and sacrifice gently fades into the cinematic horizon, I invite you to linger in the echoes of Casablanca's evocative narrative. In the quiet moments between scenes, let the nuances of Rick and Ilsa's unspoken emotions linger in the chambers of your heart. Like the elusive notes of Sam's piano, the movie resonates in the soul, stirring emotions that transcend time. As you take a cinematic bow and bid adieu to the world of intrigue and romance, consider the threads that bind you to Casablanca's rich tapestry. Perhaps you found a mirror reflecting your own encounters with love and loyalty. Maybe the poignant melodies of As Time Goes By have become the soundtrack to your own personal journey. This cinematic masterpiece invites us all to ponder the crossroads where fate and choice intersect. What choices have you made that mirror those of Rick and Ilsa? In the shadows of this classic narrative, have you discovered a reflection of your own heart's desires or sacrifices? In the spirit of camaraderie, let's create a shared space where your thoughts and memories intertwine with the essence of Casablanca. Unveil the layers of your connection with this cinematic gem and let the dialogue flow like the whispers of the desert winds that brush against the city's walls. Your reflections, like treasured artifacts, add new dimensions to the ever-expanding legacy of Casablanca. Share your thoughts with fellow travelers on this cinematic journey weaving a tapestry of shared experiences that transcends the boundaries of time and space. 
Thank you for allowing the magic of Casablanca to unfold within your heart and mind. Your time and reflections are cherished gifts that enrich the collective narrative of this enduring masterpiece. Until we meet again in the realms of shared memories, stay captivated by the timeless allure of stories that echo through the corridors of our lives.